Hello, welcome, Marlin here. Today we'll be making this adorable Easter Bunny gift set. Now on to the step-by-step -step tutorial. For the first cookie here, I'm just filling it in in white. This will be his nose, actually, the whole, not just the little pink, but the whole kind of nose muzzle. I don't know that a bunny has a muzzle, but just so that you understand what I'm talking about, just fill the whole thing up and a shake. Needs a little bit of help. There we go, and we're going to let that crust before we can come in and draw the actual little pink nose on there. Now to decorate the Easter eggs, I'm keeping it rather simple. I'm just adding kind of a rainbow of colors on there. You can certainly come up with your own original version. Just want to show you, look at my tipless bags. I got a bad batch. It has this like annoying piece of plastic. It's making it very tricky to pipe nicely with it. I'm just kind of going fast. I have to place an order today to get a new batch. This is horrible. And now just quickly spread that out. You can give that a shake. And now I'm going to do three blue lines and now green and it's the yellow that makes the addition of yellow to blue that makes green and so now yellow my yellow keeps breaking the line I'm not going to go back though I find it almost looks worse. And the last color is purple. There we go. And above here we'll just add a bit of blue. And done. And we can set these to dry. Working on my bunny feet, starting off with just a layer of brown icing there, and then filling, like so, and then one, two, three, and then an oval there in the center, like so. Prepping my bunny ears, I just want to add a bit of pink icing to the center of the ear here. So I'm just adding my icing and then I have a small palette knife here. And I'm just removing the excess icing here. And we're going to let that dry before coming in with the brown. The last cookie, the bunny's head. The pink ear icing has had time to dry and now I'm coming in with some brown and I'm just outlining the whole circle here. I'm not adding icing where the little nose cookie is going to go just because when you drop that into the wet icing it can cause the icing to overflow obviously from the pressure of the new like cookie taking up space. It's going to push the icing off and make it all look very messy. I'm just outlining the ears. We just want the pink to show. We don't want any of that exposed. Now this ear and again. Now I can pick up the little nose cookie and drop that in and I can push that into the icing a little bit. Give it a shake to smooth everything out. I'm dropping in my pearls into the wet icing. I'm using the big ones, like so. And now I'm grabbing my pink icing and drawing kind of like a jelly bean shape for the nose. And that's it. We're going to let this dry overnight before putting everything together. Now to finish off the egg, I'm adding some little arms like the bunny's holding the egg and so I'm just doing like a little kind of paisley shape 
and then building it up a bit just like that and that's one arm and you repeat the same thing on the other side here the cookies are ready and if, if you're worried about them moving around in the box you can just add a little dot of icing to secure the cookies don't go too crazy with it just a little dollop and that's all that's needed to secure the little feet and they can just break them off to eat it and then for here on the back of the head I suggest that you cut some extras of the oval here this is what I have for right now and you just put that on the back of the cookie and that will just give you that little support on the back of the head you don't have to attach the head to the body but it just elevates the back of the head so that it sits nicer in the package. Here is the completed five piece cookie gift set all wrapped up and ready to be gifted. I hope you enjoyed today's cookie project. I wanna wish all of you a very happy Easter. Enjoy your family time and I'll see you again next week. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's free. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest.